Are you listening? Damn. Welcome to the chat show. As you may know by now, this is where we talk. This is where we share our opinions mm-hmm. and we always have a fantastic time. <laughs> My name is Moya Lauren Tava and I never write solo. I've got Mr. TJ Ngoma. That it do. I got the beautiful Nicole Bessick. Hey. And our guest for today, Mr. Max Maponyani. Hey. What's up, guys? What's up, what's up, what's up? All right. I used to feel pretty. Oh. <laughs> I told us no. I yeah. we still love you, yeah. TJ. We still oh, love no. you. No, we still Fine. love you. Tell me like this. Man. Comment section. Just show him some love. Just <laughs> show him some love. How you doing, guys? Good. Good, how are you? I mean, I'm, I'm starting an introduction like it's my show, I but know, I mean, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm,
the product is, is great itself. Yeah. But um, you know, the product could be doing so much better if we distributed it in the right channels where um, that can be maximized to the best potential audience so that we can, you know, in her case, with a product, for example, if you can get into a certain channel and then you actually have an opportunity to go to um, an international conference for that product so that yeah. the world can see it and be on international shelves, that's how it should have been, you know, in this BET awards case mm -hmm. or something uh, where you got to, you know, look out for that. But I mean, also, there's also confusions of countries there. I'm not sure if you saw she tweeted, she said she was ready for the BET Awards, um, but there was another flag. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> like, it's, um, honestly, it's, it's great Maybe she now. was making a pit stop. You guys don't know. Yeah. <laughs> don't know, baby. You know what I think with babes? I think that public branded her, I don't think she branded herself. Mm. And I think there's a problem. Isn't that what's supposed to happen? No. You go because, in... No, 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 no. I, I, well, okay, this is my opinion. Yeah. I honestly feel like you need to take ownership of your brand. Uh -huh. Yes, the public could put a specific tagline onto you, a uh, specific, you know, characteristic or whatever, yeah. but you have to own your brand. And I feel like the public owns her brand, not, and she doesn't own her brand. Uh, guys, I think, look, in, in, in all seriousness, I mean, we kind of in, we kind of debated. Like, Dave's is uh, Dave's. Babes is incredible. Like, she's oh yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's she's why we're so so, so so dope. Yeah. But um, you know, there's been too many things happening. I guess that have been working against her. You know, yeah. there was that infamous performance or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and in Island, a couple of missed dates yeah. and everything, and, and just things that are a bit too unorganized, where it ends up making her look like she's unorganized. But yeah. it's actually the the team around her that mm. needs to ensure that she never looks um, like she's the one who's lacking. Yeah. Your personal branding is paramount for you to be able to execute um, you know, and maximize your potential and get to the levels that you want to. And you always want to be credible, reliable, um, authentic, so that people can really be completely sold in on who you are. Yeah. And consistent is also very important. And when you have that lack of consistency and you know people don't know what's going to happen with you that's when you start to lose that brand value mm. and you're doing things that wouldn't ordinarily be something that is with your brand that you've been putting out to everyone because she's sort of right in the sense that i think you said it, that um you know you were saying that the audience yeah, is determined right. yeah. but but you were right a bigger part in saying that no you're supposed to tell them what you're about mm -hmm. and this is what your brand is and then they can decide on how to yeah. interpret that oh, for themselves mm -hmm. and that's how you find your certain markets or whatever it is that you're going for and when yeah. you find that that's what you stick to and you make the most of that and you don't mess around double dipping in things that aren't yeah. you know of your brand and yeah. that's when you lose your audience yeah. Yeah. celebrity branding in my opinion has less to has everything to do with what you want to put out i just mm. think that the message is lost in in the management there so it's very important to align yourself you know mm. with the right pr firm mm. or the right manager or okay so let's ask a question so, then mm. what do you need as it's like you someone like yourself? someone like Babes, you've yeah. got the talent. It's being seen by the world. They want to accept you now. You 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 have the space to really create something. Mm. What do you need to create Ooh, that brand? Could I just answer this because I'm sort of in the business? We're all about it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that's guy. why we're here. <laughs> no, just, just from a, from a different <laughs> before we go into celebrities, but just in terms of a brand, yeah. which is where I think some people get this wrong. As Yes, 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 yes. Just mm. as a brand, mm. I think it comes from having one voice. So, so you need not people go, okay, cool, publicist, okay, cool, mm. manager, agent. Mm. No, you need a strategist. Oh. Somebody. This is this is how we approach every brand. Yeah. You need a strategist who goes, here's what you are. Here's here's how we are going to implement it, and everybody follows this one particular message, voice, whatever. The, the mismanagement happens, and the publicist thinks this, the agent thinks no one to put it for these kinds of roles, whatever the case may be. So you need one sound voice that your publicist, your manager, your agent, your social media strategist all follow and align themselves according to what that one voice says. Someone that you trust, you've consulted with, they get you. It's important that they get you, and then take it from there. That's just that's just how. I would say building Which brand. is yeah. how you approach any building of any, any brand. Yeah. And yeah. that's what a lot of South African brands have been doing so wrong lately, yeah. missing the mark. So mm -hmm. trying to communicate with the Twitter, the Twitter market, and then speaking like that, and it just people oh, we're smarter than that. Like yeah. your audience yeah. is smarter than that. They're not yeah. as stupid as you think they are. Where they'll just like go with whatever, go with whatever it is because it's trending and it's mm -hmm. memes and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're this high LSM brand, but you're like this is yeah. like the girls, and it's like 
<laughs> no, I aspire to your brand. Oh, you're this highness in brand and you have the, um, the, the, the latest hip hop artist as your, um, I don't know, whoever it is back in your brand who isn't in your NSM yeah. or whatever, then, then it's just, you, you're missing the point. Don't just go with, um, you know, those, for example, from a, from a brand product perspective, uh. you don't just go with uh, the numbers and what's cool, you go with what still speaks to the essence of the brand. Yeah. So wait, so, does your brand drive everything you do? Your brand drives your career. Your vision drives your career. Your vision drives your career. What does your brand do? Your brand is who you are. Your what brand should about? accomplish that vision. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Right? Yeah. 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 But you didn't answer the question. Yeah. Which was... What which celebrities? Oh. No, no, what do you well, We didn't even answer which celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't answer which celebrities. Okay, <laughs> let's mean? start with which celebrities. I think that's pretty obvious. Which celebrity though. what? I mean... That you think has got their branding on lock. For me or not? It's okay. always I mean, her. That's... That, uh, look, to be fair, that's pretty... It's pretty obvious, um, you know, solid example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Max, maybe you? I'm not gonna say Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you there at the airport, so I'm like, hey, Max. Yeah. <laughs> Shout I out to like like you. <laughs> I feel like we're um, giving brands too much airtime right now. <laughs> I'm trying to be extra, but I think Nomza Mombato's brand is pretty dope. Like, her new home She's beauty and dope. princess, she keeps with the look. She makes sure that she always comes with an African flavor. She's a natural beauty. She's not trying to do all yeah. that Hollywood glamour thing. She's just a girl from KZN, you know, trying yeah. to make it big, trying to be a queen. She's, okay. a, she's a confident woman who's proud of where she comes from, mm. who she is. Yeah. She's all about the substance over and everything she else. That she goes, and whatever she that's she does. what you see is what you're going to get, and you're yeah. going to get so much more actually yeah. a lot of the time. Okay. So I think that's a very solid example. Oh. Um, <laughs> so but, what do you have? but now let's talk. Let's talk. Um, Male celebrities, like who do you guys think male celebrities have it unlocked? I think, I, ooh, I think, I think, I think, with you. Yeah, I think in terms of male celebrities and having it not just only what you look like but what you sound like, uh. Seven Gessy. Oh, on yes. his social media, yes, he yes, sounds yes, exactly yes, like he does on TV. Yes, yes. He's got the exact same tone. He's not holding back for anybody on any given platform. Mm. So I feel like Sue is like her you know example. Exactly what you're gonna Superman, I love you. So is my homie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, okay, maps for you, female and male. Yeah. Who do you think? Look, I mean, those... except for the ones that we have already <laughs> said, because we out, know. Man. Yeah, a different example. Yeah. So, is the question whose personal branding is on point? Whose yeah. celebrity branding, personal branding is an example and an epitome of what, yeah. you know, a job It's working, it's yeah. good. That's working for them. Um, geez, it's, it's hard to, okay, first let me, let me come on the male side. I think it's very obvious that, uh, I think the, the DJs, the really good DJs get mm. it right mm -hmm. because they're just very consistent. Yeah. Um, so obviously, black coffee, DJ Fresh. fresh. Like, yeah, yeah. fresh yeah. coffee, mm -hmm. you, you just know they're two strong brands who are consistent. Uh -huh. And Fresh, you've even seen on his social media, like, even on radio, like, he loves a good yeah. laugh Ooh, and it's like good all between yeah. and good laugh. memes and everything. And, yeah. and that laugh is who, like, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's him. Yeah. And it's you see it through all his posts and yeah. everything. And, and that's what he just, um, yeah, that's what he stands for. Coffee, just everything is just that quiet excellence with everything he does, all subtle yeah. and um, to be fair, like I feel like that that is the way, silent personally killer. for me that's the way, that's just yeah. this silent killing everything, you look at his videos and what he puts out, his content, like he's got a news, he's got little snippets of videos that he puts out now mm -hmm. and you know, it's even the message at the end is always consistent, you know inspiring. what I mean, even while he's speaking, it's just quietly inspiring as well, yeah. he's not even trying to be inspiring, but you sit down with, with, with coffee and you have a conversation, you're like, Guys got gems and pearls for days, yeah, you know. But yeah. just also still just quietly and humbly. Um, and in terms of female, I mean, with so many females, um, and I'm just trying to avoid going for one of the common obvious yeah, ones. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'm trying to dig really deep, so that's why <clears throat> that's why I'm thinking um, as hard as I am. But the ultimate woman who just has nailed their brand on another level and it's a language that I speak and I absolutely love it in every single way and she she's a person who every single um, you know celebrity should look towards when it comes to branding being consistent executing oh, I I well I was also thinking uh, what letter does his name start with? wait 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 no, no, no. J yeah is it J? who? is it a J? J. it's not a J but okay. who are you guys thinking? Joanne's right. no Joanne's amazing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Joanne's yeah, yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. Absolutely. Kanye drama. 
Yes! Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Yeah. Joanne yeah, Strauss yeah. is obviously incredible and yeah, yeah, yeah. to have her longevity, Joanne? Mm. Yes. Mm. Amazing. Of, yeah. To have Kanye Lomo's longevity Woo! also amazing. Yeah. But yeah. also them They've taken two different angles, but still maintain that you know yeah. that interest of people, but still killing it in a bigger way yeah. than what they could even do just staying in the media yeah. entertainment spot. Yeah. Yeah. So those are two women to really look at and follow in a big way. You know, there's there comes a time I'm sure for lots of people, and we've seen it, where rebranding just all of a sudden, you know, um, makes things happen again. I think um, one person who managed to rebrand and revive damn well, two people actually, it's very obvious. Yeah. So Mizi and Kanye, yeah. it's like yes. they just killed the rebranding game yeah. um, and they it's weird they almost just became more of themselves more than ever yeah. and just completely were unapologetic about it yeah. and everyone yeah. was like that's what we're looking for yeah. you know yeah. um, so I always commend say, that and I think that's really would you say it's a rebranding or would you say the market was just ready for that that's also another thing to be like so cognizant of. There's so yeah. many amazing people out there right now who probably will never come to light or the forefront because people just aren't ready for, you know, it's just not their time. Mm. I think one person who now is in the right time and is starting to click and luckily he's still quite young and he's still going to cause major waves is uh, Moshe and Diki. Yeah. Moshe, Moshe on the rise. Moshe is just like, Moshe is incredible, yeah. man. Yeah. And, and he's, he's mm -hmm. just like, he's, is he going to be sitting here soon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, there we go. He's, and he's, he's just hilarious and he's amazing and he's over the top in every way yeah. but um, like he's just a great guy too so but also I think like that acceptance period as well of you know people opening their minds a whole lot more is has come um, and also that um, that video digital age and people who are you know super eccentric and the, the funny comments and videos and everything, how that's all culminating and people loving that content, yeah. that very constant social media kind of personality yeah. um, who's always making people laugh, like a walking, talking meme and everything, <laughs> you know, like, it, like he's just naming that, you know, yeah. and I think it's, um, it's, all, it's all with timing as well, you know, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah. So let's say there's a young talent like Moshe, for example, let's use him as an example, and he wants to now build this brand, he wants to make sure it's solid. I did ask earlier, what do you think he would need, or anyone who really wants to build a proper brand would need. Is that the question you're saying that no one's answered yet? Yes, yeah, that's the one no one's answered. I mean, she, she did say she did touch strategist. It. She did, yeah, she, she did. So I wanted to know what the rest the of The reality though is that you need a team. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. like you really need a full on team to be with you committed. Um, you look at people like Bonang and Domza Mombata and they have like team, um, a, a full on team of people that are pretty much dedicated to them and every single thing around them when it comes to anything they're trying to execute from um, you know running the the diary whether it be um, you so know like a PA assistant. or an assistant or right. a manager um, then you have the manager that runs the bookings and um, everything else in between that has an interaction with the client perhaps um, and then you have you know perhaps the same manager sometime who can um, so sorry, sometimes we can actually Go to go with you to all these things that you're doing, um, and be able to cater to you so that you're not overexerted trying to do everything yourself, yeah. um, preparing stuff for you. Um, you know, to, uh, it's really just a lawyers. big management team. Who's paying? You need the lawyers, need the cons. So Is that's so one of the best things about once again those two people, uh. and probably all the people we've highlighted. But mainly those two people, because I feel like the guys not so much, yeah. is that they really, because women need the makeup artists, the hairstylists, everything. Guys. We need a lot more. To be fair, exactly. You yeah. guys need a whole lot more, and it's worth it in the end because mm. you make it happen a whole lot more. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Um, and the thing is that you need to seriously, and that's what these people have done, invest in yourself, and you're going to have to. You know, just suck it up, cry a little bit, put that money in. It takes money to make money. Exactly, because because it takes money to make money, and that's what you you need to sometimes make those sacrifices to be able to make it all work out. Okay, so look at the greater scheme of things. People, the people who sort of stay quite stagnant, mm -hmm. are just trying to save that buck and uh, sorry that uh, yeah that buck yeah, and yeah. await like hoping something will come and everything. But you almost have to like, folks. I'm the kind of person who. Also, if I have an idea or something I'm trying to make happen with a certain brand I want to work with or whatever it is, even when brands come to me, like if there's a brand I want to go work with, I'll go and knock and eventually sort of just keep knocking until that door open or bash open the door um, and, you know, bring something to light that I want to make happen. 
um, and then make them realize why they need you to be a part of their brand or if there's a brand that's um, approaching me, figure out how you can add so much more value than just being, you know, the face or a part of the brand or whatever. So you have to invest a lot of your own intellectual time and research and everything to get the most out of yourself so that you can find the best synergy to really sell whatever it is that you're doing. Mm. Right. But like TJ said, it costs a lot, right? right? But you need to invest in yourself. So mm. what should be or who should be the first two people you should hire? Yeah. Who do you guys think it should be? So someone's now finally, it's getting, it's moving, things are happening. I, mean, I need to start adding to, I need to start creating a team. Mm. Who are the first two people that need to be brought on? Publicist and digital. Really? Yeah. Okay, I would, start off, I would start off like that. Just because you can't go straight to the top and get like bigger things, I would say that that would be a good way to go. Yeah. Like, get your message out there. Yeah. Really got it waxed. Digital, digital strat and how to get that So what do they media. do for you? So they li literally help you curate your content for your, your social media or your website or your online, that whole thing. And then mm -hmm. publicists in terms of media coverage, TV, uh, you know, TV, print, radio, mm -hmm. just like the interviews about what you're doing and yeah. what you're currently yeah. busy with. I think that's a really good way to go because the two people who are key. Okay. Yeah, girl. Alright. Yeah. Listen, okay. I don't know much about branding. <laughs> like, y'all are schooling me, I appreciate it. Oh, okay. it. <laughs> but um, I think for me, Thinking about myself personally is just like figuring out the brand. Yeah. What is the brand? Yeah. Okay. What can I bottle up and sell to people okay. that yeah. you know is true to myself and you know the industry needs. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, as a person, I would just okay. Get your brand in check and know it through and through. So that's pretty much yeah where I would completely agree with you. So I think this is my this is my ninth year in the industry and. I haven't had a manager, publicist, PR agent, nothing my entire career. I've done what? everything what? myself. Like, really? All the way through, literally wow. until um, mid last year when I brought someone on to just sort of help with the, um, the diary and the calendar and Wait, speaking you had, you to. You had an agent? I had a model agent right. who used to just get modeling gigs when I was starting off. Okay. Like, that was just to start off some sort of career. But when, you know, actually started becoming anything a brand or whatever it is I've literally <laughs> I've done so many of the things by myself everything and the reason I'm laughing right now is that you you got to be really crafty because mm. I didn't I hate being the person I'm such a pushover I used to be such a pushover and then you get screwed over a couple times and you, you wake yeah. up you know you have to learn you get your fingers burnt um, I hate having that conversation about money you know, and how much we're going to do this for and it's always so awkward mm -hmm. and then you know someone will go like you know a lot lower and you're like oh, this person's such a nice person I mean I guess we can do it for you know <laughs> but then, you know someone else who would be representing you but like no of course not like mm -hmm. and, you know it's, it's also about it like really knowing what your value is is a really hard part for a lot of people starting yeah. off, like and you have to learn the hard way if you're not going to have a team around you that establishes and helps you establish what your value is. Um, and the, re the reason I'm laughing is that I would have clients emailing me and I'd go straight into negotiation the whole time, whatever, and I'd sign off as an imaginary um, pseudonym yeah. and then just say Mabs uh, you is know, PA or sister. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so just to wrap things up, one last question. What do you think your personal, not what do you think, what is your personal brand? Ah, We're gonna go, no, 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 no. Even if you can't say the entirety because you're not 100% sure, uh, but like, I mean, there's so many people watching you, put yourself out there, hey. Yeah. It's always the first. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad, okay. Uh, wait. Okay. Um, what is my brand? Do you want me to start? Yeah, I'll start. Okay, I'll give you some time. Um, okay, with me, I think entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Pan African presenting. Yes, girl. That's me and creating content online. I think those are the three things that I would align with myself. Yeah. So anything that I do, entrepreneurship, people know that with the A1 that I've created, oh. that's been I've been driving that yeah. so much. With Pan African Entertainment, I do that here, I do that on TV, oh. and with content creation, hey, you're watching the chat show, huh? <laughs> yeah, so things like that. I'll probably say those three things. Well no, I think when you start off sometimes you might not have the like yeah. Grand is we don't have anything figured out completely, yeah. but I think that's what I'm securing right now. Okay. Mr. Max Mapagnani? Um, ladies, 
I think the ladies yeah, first must yeah, continue. Yeah. Oh, well, why the men you just shy away? That's what I was talking about. This is up to you. You can decide to throw it back or you can decide to take it. I'm going to take it like a woman. Yes, um, yeah. <laughs> so mine would be, I think if you're looking at my, my brand, whatever, I, I don't really take to the word, but just my profile. Um, it's definitely at the forefront as actress. Um, I have two degrees, non-acting related. Um, very proud of, of, of my legal studies. So I think intellect is one of them. Um, third one, definitely color excellence. And four, I wouldn't be Nicole Basic without being as dynamic and I think outspoken as I am. So I think those things no, no. pretty much some of my brand. Yeah. All right. And of course, if you could guys check out my belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is one of you. You guys are throwing. Is that, is, is that where you put like the belt next to her? Yeah. 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 I, feel like, I feel like she's touched on it on every episode and we're having to putting it all the yeah, time. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I'm working on it. I'm going to bring that belt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Entertainer. Yes. Um, LGBTI. Yes. Community. Pratt. Are we supposed to snap up there? Yeah, snap. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> um, and just... Just a regular boy from the EC, man. I like that. Yeah, just a regular person. I'll put theater with you. Yeah. Theater? No. Theater? Yeah. Who's a theater boy? Like boy or theatrical. But well, I was worried theatrical. that theatrical could, could be seen could be in flamboyant, flamboyant scenes. scenes. Which I don't think. Is that wrong with flamboyant? No, 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 there's the talent in the theater. theater. Like, he's full on. Yeah. Look at them trying to brand me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking don't about. Don't let them do it! Don't let them do it! Okay, sorry. 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 Alright, guys, thank you so much for the show. Love what you guys are doing. What do you mean? What do you mean? Guys, it's. Jeez. She's trying to run away from that. No. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, thank you so much for the show. Love what you guys are doing. Yeah, I'm trying to run away from that. No. Um. We want to know. Sorry, I. It's always something quite interesting. I mean, I always get. Look, first, you should also never be you know, too shy to be able to, like. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, that, I'm actually yeah. always at essence a bit of an introvert. So when that when it comes yeah. to talking about myself, I tend to sort of like, you know, that turtle Still, who raises yeah. his head <laughs> who, who puts his head back in the shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um I've always tried to position myself as um, being um, aspirational. Um, I think someone who has the ability uh, to be to reinvent themselves. Um, mysterious in, a, in terms of like you just don't always have them figured out mm. okay. you know but you always want to know more as a result so yeah. perhaps intriguing could be the word okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, and and always uh, always well packaged uh. um, whether it's appearance or whatever it is because um, my my interests are just so diverse yeah. and you know in my in my business world, entrepreneurship is a huge thing, and that's my, that's my one of my big passions. But it's it's not something yet that I've sort of put out there completely. So they, they know they have that interest, yeah. But yeah, um, exactly but, but no, yeah, what, people, where, when, but not exactly all the things that are you know happening behind there. Yeah. Uh, but that's just because I like to separate the the worlds a little bit. But soon they'll they'll come. They'll merge. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So in closing, Max. What are you up to? What do you want the people to know? What are you doing? And what are your social media handles if you weren't already <laughs> following <laughs> part of the whole Instagram? I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, so, firstly, please follow, follow, follow. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so obviously, Instagram is at M M A P O N Y N E. M A P O N Y N E. Facebook, Maps Mapunyani. Uh, Twitter, Maps Swap Nani. And currently, right now, top billing. I have a TV show that I present uh, for France, for, uh, for Canal Plus in France. Okay. Uh, so I do that from South Africa. I cr- correspond bilingually. Nice. Um, I speak French and uh, oh, so yeah. that's how it okay. works out. Okay. Um, and that's called Plus Afrique avec Robert. Um, which means more of Africa with Robert. Okay. Um, well, and you're, then, not, you're not Robert. No. I'm not Robert. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, you ought to be calling oh, Max the whole day. Now you think it might be Robert. Robert's short for Pearl. No, no, no. I don't know if it was French. No, Robert's actually short for Pearl. I 
happened there? I told you he was spicy. What happened there? I did not tell you he was spicy. I don't know. I'm confused. If you're doing hashtag, go to the comment section. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong with you? No, no, no. You're the spicy one. Guys, the gap was there. You know, you walked right into it. You did it yourself. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say, I'm 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 going to some great new brand collaborations coming around. Uh, really, really excited. Awesome stuff. More work with Investec, more with Samsung. Um, he keeps plugging these brands, but they're not paying us for the stage. Stop! So, we're going to have to, like, thank you some, so much, man. Some nice things coming together. Okay. And then, um, I run a few startups too, but let me just step away from this. So, thank you very much for having me. Starting a guys. business, you know the contact. Thank yeah. you so much to Matthew Pinelli for joining us today. We had a fantastic yes. time. Yes. Let us know in the comment section below who do you think is killing it in terms of celebrity branding? Who and who needs a new brand team? Who needs to fire their brand team? Yeah. Mm, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You gotta do it. Wow. Like, Please. I'm sure by now you guys know, alright? So, till next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone. <laughs>